One of the best things about living in Berlin is that you don't really have to learn German. We all just speak English and the Germans just have to deal with it. Residence permit, who gonna check me, boo? I think it's a fair trade-off. Foreigners are basically responsible for all the best culture in Berlin. If it wasn't for us, those poor Germans would just be eating sauerkraut and listening to Schlager music all day. Oh. You can pretty much live your life here without barely interacting with a German, especially now under social distancing rules. But now that retail stores have reopened, all of us sexy Berlin hipsters have to deal with talking to Germans again. So, I went to the Dykeman at Ostbahnhof to buy some new shoes, cause that's how I roll. So I bought a pair of sneakers because I have the hots for this guy who has a sneaker fetish. That's a thing, by the way. But then I found out it's not enough just to wear the sneakers. You also have to be really thin and muscular and hot and wear the sneakers, so. That's okay. I needed sneakers anyway. So I'm a size 48, cause I'm a big boy everywhere. <laughs> so I go up to the German sales boy. I see his name tag, it says Klaus. Hey Klaus, these are um, 47.5. Do you have them in 48? Oh no, because we were closed for a month, so the inventory is very mm, limited. But I figured that's fine, I'll get them anyway. I'll just break them in. I'm really good at being broken in. <laughs> So I'm buying the shoes and I'm wondering when the store reopened because I'm at Ostbahnhof all the time and it was the first time I had noticed that they had reopened. So I say to Klaus, hey, when did you guys reopen? Oh, today? Uh, we open at 10 a.m. No, I mean, when did you reopen? When did the store reopen? Oh, oh, my English. <laughs> So I try to think of a way to like simplify the question that I'm asking. When did you start working here again? Oh, I have worked here for six months. <sighs> um, okay, so you were closed. Now you are open. When did you start working again? Oh no, we continue to work at the Dykeman at Eastside Mall while this store was closed. It was like conversational CPR. I was like, okay, I am not gonna let you die, goddammit! At Ostbahnhof, you were closed. Yeah. When did you open at Ostbahnhof after quarantine? We are open Monday to Saturday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. But you were closed. Yes, we are closing the store in three months and then we will just be working at the Dykeman at Eastside Mall. <sighs> okay. But you were closed here at Ostbahnhof. Yeah. On what date did you open again at Ostbahnhof? Oh, I do not understand. And I'm thinking to myself, really? Really? You don't understand? You don't understand what I'm asking? I think you're fucking with me, Klaus. Yeah, this is your little game. This is your little torture the Auslander who hasn't learned German yet game, isn't it, Klaus? But then I look into his eyes and I realized that Klaus is only probably like 18. He just looks older because he's one of those hard living, grizzled Marzan teenagers living in East East Berlin. And I just thought to myself, ugh. If you are going to move all the way from Marzan to Friedrichshain and work in Friedrichshain, at least learn the fucking language. 
I'm just joking, Germans. Don't sick the AF day on me. <laughs> it's okay, you can. I have the Turkish Mafia protecting me. <laughs> and that I'm not joking about.